we're here with Kip Moore at 1019 The Wolf Studio. Kip, Mr. Kip, how are you, sir? I'm good, man. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you bet. it. You bet, man. Uh, we've got a here new single coming up. Coming up. Yeah, man, you'll be getting it in your, in your hands on Monday. So what's the story behind it? Why did you write it? Um, I, I, it's just, um, it really sets the tone for the record. And this song's also just one of those things where I feel like nowadays and ages, everybody's always quick to point the finger and uh, put the blame on other people. And I, I've never been scared to say, I'm the one that did it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll take the rap and I'm not scared to, to speak my mind. And that's what this whole song is about, is uh, it's a no, no apologies of who you are as a person. And um, I think a lot of people will relate to it. We've had them all submit not. questions. We're just gonna, you want to you pull it out? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. pull out a question. <laughs> When did you know you wanted to be a country star? I never, my goal was to never be a country star. Um, I love to write and play music. Um, I, I truly love it for the pureness of that. Um, I wanted to be great at my craft, and if that led to being a star, that led to being a star, but I wanted to make a living singing my own music, and that's what I set out to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jennifer wants to know, what do you do to let loose and tear it up? Tear it up. A lot of things I can't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dana wants to know: Are you single? This is Dana, the one with the phone. Dana. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Right. Yeah. Uh, besides country, what do you listen to? To be honest, my favorite genre of all time is Motown. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> uh, if I had to, you know, my, my heroes are a lot in the American rock and roll world, like Seeger and Springsteen and, and Bob Dylan. Um, and then the countryside, I was, a, I, I was a huge Willie Nelson fan growing up. But uh, my all-time favorite is probably Sam Cooke, who's in the, Mo, who's in the Motown era. When I, when I kick back at my house, I put on Motown records for the, for, the, for the most part. But I listen to all genres. I listen to a Killers record, a Kings of Leon record, a, a Zeppelin record, all kinds. But yeah. yeah. Um, the last question we have from Jason mm -hmm. is, uh, who and what was your inspiration? Wow. That's a... That's a big, broad question right there. Who and what was my inspiration? I, I knew of Springsteen for a long time, but when I was about 24 years old, I was not in a good place mentally. I was in a pretty dark place. and uh, um, I discovered Springsteen all over again, and that finally I'd lived hard enough and kind of to where I could really relate to the lyrics. And it, and it hit me in a whole different way where for about two years, that's all I did was listen to Boss Records. and. Um, studied him, I write all the lyrics down, and, and um, he changed not only my writing, but I feel like my whole life. It kind of gave me hope in his lyrics, and um, so I owe a lot to, to his music. So I would say that to the boss. Well, cool, man, I appreciate everyone putting in questions.